Hey guys, welcome back to RK Garage. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you haven't already. Back on EcoJet stuff. Uh, the heads I was using to mock up, I managed to sell. Here's another quick look at the bottom end. These are just old head gaskets I just had on there, so I didn't screw up the uh, surface. I'm gonna use these head gaskets to check PTV for my cam. Which, by the way, heads are done. I'll put up a quick photo here, hopefully, if I remember. Um, so heads and cam actually got sent out today uh, by Courier. It's Tuesday the 1st, no, 31st, 31st today. So they won't arrive while I'm home, but next r and when I'm back, but the heads, so three weeks time, we can finish putting this together. I've had a lot of cool stuff come in though. Um, one of those things, this is coming off. My electric water pump came in. And uh, that big box there, which we're open, but my electric water pump came in, which is awesome. So we're going to fit that. Got a whole bunch of other stuff. My um, relay box for the ECU. And we're going to do that this time instead of a plate. I want some bends and whatnot and an um, extended bleeder line. Um, if you know what this is, you know what this is. I have a video on that soon. I've had this for a couple the thing that goes in this for a couple months now. We've got some more test tape, some fittings, just gotta whack on and everything, and um, got a overdrive billet pulley, because we're, we'll technically be over spinning alternator, I don't want to conk out. I just got a bigger pulley for that. Also for Mishimoto, uh, who is my sponsor by the way, in case you guys don't remember, or haven't been watching since then. I've got some clamps. Uh, a couple couplings for the um, radiator pipes and then also this bad boy here so I'm going to get into putting a water pump on so uh, I'm going to set this up and we'll open the box over there get it all on I think I've got some nice allen key screws to put on so we'll get on to that so first up I'll get this one off. Which is a shame, this one was brand new. New gasket. I had a feeling I was going to end up going this way, but. I don't know if uh, I put it in another video, but I did get a new crank angle sensor. I also ordered a new, uh, sorry, cam angle sensor. I did also order a new crank angle sensor as well. Uh, that has arrived now. Look at that brand new. Well, if anyone wants a brand new water pump, hit me up. All right, got it all cleaned up. Uh, Bolts are on. So she's all on. Bolted on with the four bolts that I can. Um, I probably could whack another one in there. I'll we'll have to double check. And you got one, two, three, four, which go through to the block. This wiring I'll tuck under here. I'll tie into this wiring here. I'll uh, loom that all together. That'll run in behind running all behind here and come up into there because uh, I don't have the heads here I don't have any other eco or L67 heads lying around that I can grab I can't put me and take manifold on the wiring harness and get all that sorted so I'll have to wait till the next R&R &R, which is fine it is what it is but um, I should be fine to clear the belt because that'll come down here over there around and down so that should be all good. Looks way better than having a pulley there. Anyway, nice and fancy. So that's that bit done. Um, I'm gonna pack all this up and then we'll open that big box over there. All right, now for this. Some of you might know what it is from the size of the box. Uh, no sort of intercooler. Um, I have ordered an intercooler. Uh, it's going to take three months to get made, sadly. 
Anyway. Let's uh, open this bad boy up. See just what we have. Boy, she's pretty. Here we go. Mishimoto radiator. That is absolutely wonderful. Gonna look nice in the bay. Anyway, I'm gonna put that back in the box so it doesn't get wrecked. But gonna have that there, nice shiny decor in front of it. In case you might have seen these, pick these up today. They're used, but still got plenty of meat left on them. So once she's done, they're ready to go straight to the track because all my other ET streets are cooked. So this is good. Cutting this bit in here. Another thing as well, I sent my turbo off uh, to my sponsor. He came out with a, a new part again. It's an upgraded turbine wheel. It's slightly bigger. So I sent that to him, even though the one he put on there was brand new and his custom design. This one's brand new again, his custom design, but even bigger. Um, so he whacked that on for me. And he also had to machine out by exhaust housing which you can only just see there slightly to suit that was bloody awesome so this turbo is now 100 percent fully custom nothing on it is the standard size anymore he also rebuilt the internals for me for three which was very kind of him um, when he took it apart he said yeah but wasn't happy with the bearings and whatnot so he rebuilt it with a new set so if anyone doesn't remember you see as a started off as a gt3582 like ancient like one of the very first ones um my turbine wheel was fucked um maxed out at 568 pushing shit uphill like it just peaked and then just died straight away so now it has a custom um similar to like a 80 uh, 3584 RS front wheel but bigger it's a 70 84 millimeter wheel whereas a G3584 has a 67 84 front and then the turbine wheel is now bigger than a GDX 3584 RS and um, bigger than a G35 turbo I believe and I have a T4 rear housing which uh, they don't really come with it's a one-off item you got to buy and get ordered so now that turbo is completely custom it's got the t51r mod on the compressor housing the front's been polished um so yeah genuine garrett core genuine garrett um turbine cover genuine garrett compressor cover but completely custom inside which is really awesome so in theory that should go 850 we'll see where it maxes out if it makes 750 it makes 750 it makes 800 it makes 800 it makes 950 it makes 950 so that's that. Another thing as well I forgot to mention is this alternator bracket here. I am redoing um, instead of all the one where it's all the weld and whatnot. Dane from Corn Fed Boost sourced me a 10 millimeter plate. His local hardware, like um, metal hardware store, I guess, because no one around here seemed to have any. It was all 12 mil, which was too thick. I need 10 mil for, exactly for what I'm doing. So when that arrives, which probably won't be while I'm home, that'll probably be next star and R as well. I'm going to redo that bracket and then I'm going to send that one off to get laser cut. Um, and I'm going to work out a package deal where it comes with a um, billet racecraft pulley belt. Um, I'll, I'll pre-cut all the tensioners and everything. So it's going to basically cut everything um, I'll even source what bolts I have. It'll be a complete bolt-on kit if you want to do what I'm doing and just run harmonic balancer and alternator. So you lose water pump, power steering there, and obviously aircon. Uh, I'm running electric power steering, if you guys don't remember, so that's why. But if there's something you guys are interested in, let me know, because I can get the kit priced up. Um, it will just be at cost. I'm not going to make money on, off it, but um whatever i get the parts for is what i'll sell it for but anyway i'm going to cut back 
to the old video where it was and you've seen me rambling on there and you might have uh, spotted this in the background it's a nice little LS1 got to give it a clean that's for the car at the bottom of the hoist the Miso's VP but the LS1 converting so uh, I'm gonna film well hope I'm gonna film an entire series on that but I'm gonna film it all um, wait till everything's done and then upload them maybe two a week three a week consecutively rather than have Feast jumped in in between Ecojet and the Ute and whatnot um, I have bought another car it's been on the channel a few times um, it wasn't my own or anything like that it was someone I know they sold it because they started their own business and they race something so I'm not going to reveal what it is yet but but I might just have that for a few months and flick it um, if bills get too hard to pay because that is like my ninth car or something and my fourth registered car the disco is hopefully being sold and the miso is getting a new forby that's the disco's manual she just has a she can drive manual but only has an automatic license so we're going to get an auto forby that we can both drive um, We'll see, I might do a couple of things to the car that's out there and turn it up. We'll see, it's undisclosed at the moment. Nothing set in stone. Um, fuck, I don't know what else to put in this. I'm kind of in limbo today uh, till I can really start doing stuff. I've got to get wiring on all this on the inside here which I'm probably going to do off camera just to get it done and then I'll film once it's all done so I've got to get this pushed forward, that down and out and whatnot so I can access it but for now I think that's going to do for this week's video it's nothing too exciting but electric water pump, Mishimoto, radiator got a lot of parts out of going and on and whatnot but you know heads are done now they're being sent, cams on the way as well shit starts to get real um, I've got to finish shaving the bay and paint that as well. It's probably another thing I'll get onto. But anyway, uh, that's it for now. If you haven't already liked, subscribe, leave a comment. I'm sorry it was a shit video, but hopefully the next one will be better. I'll see you guys then.